I'm so excited. Today is going to be the best day ever. I finally am going to adopt a child and be a mom. I've been waiting for this moment for so long and it's finally here. So excited. I hope that even though I don't have a ton of money, I'll still be able to give my child everything they could ever dream of and all the love and happiness that they deserve. Oh man, I am just so excited. This is gonna be the best day ever. All right, here we go. We're at the nursery. I'm so excited. Hi there. How are you? My name's Clarissa. What's yours? You can call me Matron Madeline. Oh, well, it's so nice to meet you. Okay, so I was wondering, what is the process to start adopting a child? I finally have saved up enough money from my job, and I'm looking to adopt and provide for a beautiful, beautiful new child. Well, there's only one left, and, uh, you won't want her. Oh, I'm sorry. What do you mean by that? Look, lady, it's, if it's between the two of us, huh, this girl is a total brat. She is spoiled rotten. Oh, I'm sure it can't be that bad. And I'll happily adopt her and give her all the love that she could ever want. <laughs> well, all right then. Hey, Samantha, come on out here. Hi, I'm Samantha, and like, who are you? Oh, Samantha, it's so nice to meet you. My name's Clarissa, and um, <laughs> I'm gonna be your new mom. Oh, really? Well, I hope you better have more money than it looks like you do. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but I, I can assure you that I will do everything I can to provide you a good life. Now, first things first, can I call you Sammy? Oh, absolutely not. You cannot call me Sammy ever. I hate that nickname. It's disgusting. And guess what, lady? I will not be calling you mommy if that's where you thought this conversation was going. Oh, uh, okay. Well, uh, I'm sure we can figure this out. Uh, you ready to go home? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, ma'am, good luck. She is your problem now. Okay, so here it is, home sweet home. Well, I, I know it isn't much, but I'm sure it's better than that orphanage, am I right? Ugh. Like, not by much. I hope this place would have been, like, bigger and cooler. But instead, like, I'm here. And I'm stuck in this place. Well, um, just for now, I'm really working hard so I can save up my money and maybe we can buy a better house. You know, maybe even do some upgrades around here or something. Ugh. Yeah, you like really need to upgrade it. It makes you look poor and like only poor people live in houses like this. Do you want people to think that you're poor? Ew. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh no, I, I guess not. But uh, maybe once I save up all that money, we could work on transforming the house together. Wouldn't that be fun? I mean, like, I guess, but probably not. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> okay, anyway, um, this is the house, so how about, I don't know, would you want to go check out the park instead? Ugh, yeah, I guess, like, that sounds fine or whatever, I mean, you're in charge. Uh, okay, yeah, let's go! Oh, maybe we can get an ice cream on our way over! No, I don't eat ice cream. Oh, uh, okay, never mind, uh, we'll just go straight to the park then. This old dump is the park? Yeah, I mean, it's not that bad. I think it's pretty cute. I'm sure you can learn to love it. I mean, there are slides over there, trampolines, jump bars. There's like even a little platform for concerts during the summer. It's wonderful if you just give it a chance. Give this gross place a chance? I don't think so. Oh, come on, why not? 
because it's gross and other people use this stuff. And like, I am not going to use things that other people have because that's gross and disgusting and only poor people do that. Well, hey now, that, that is no way to act. Parks are supposed to be used by everyone and they're fun. Come on, please. Like, let's go try the swings. They're great. And uh, I think they were recently put in. Oh, you are just lying to me. Those swings are disgusting. And I will only go on things that are shiny and new. And you are such a bad mom for taking me to such a dumb, stupid place. Samantha, uh, that is no way to act. I don't care. I'm just telling you what the truth is. All right, lady? So, like, get used to it. You know what? I think it's time to go home. There's been a lot of excitement for today, so you're probably just a little bit on edge and you need a nap. Ugh, yeah, whatever. All right, let's go. Okay, Samantha, are you ready to get settled in? Are you serious right now? I cannot believe you. What do you mean? What, what's wrong, Samantha? H how can I fix it? Well, you could start by being a better mother. I cannot believe that you expect me to sleep on a bed without a memory foam mattress topper. Like, who are you? What is wrong? Like, what did I ever do to you? I cannot believe it. Samantha, okay, you're kind of getting a little out of hand here. But don't you love me, woman? Well, yes, I do. Then why don't you show me? I don't understand why you just throw me in this room with this bed made out of, like, stone. And plus, you, like, didn't even decorate anything in here or leave me items like a grappling hook or a unicycle, a surfboard, or even like the pizza pool float. You must not love me at all. No, come on. You know that's not true. Well, then where are all those things I just asked for? I do not see them here. So you should probably go get them to show that you truly love me and that you're fit to be a mother. <sighs> oh, okay, fine. Whatever. I'll go try to buy them right away. Is there anything else I could do to make you feel comfortable? Yeah, there is. And I want a raspberry pie with at least 10 scoops of ice cream on top or else. <sighs> okay, I I'm, I'm gonna try to go make that happen for you. Good, you should do that right now. I'm getting hungry. Uh, okay, Samantha, uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Hey, Robert. Hey, Clarissa, what's going on? Are you okay? You seem upset. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I finally got a daughter, but she's making all sorts of unreasonable demands, and I just can't afford all the crazy things Samantha wants. Yeah, I understand. I mean, it's really hard. You gotta, like, work a ton of hours just to make enough money to take care of everybody, but, like, I don't know. You think she's spoiled? Spoiled? Oh, uh, no, I mean, I just really want to try to make her happy and, you know, buy her all the things that she wants and, you know, I just, I don't know, I want to be a good mom. Yeah, I understand that. I mean, at the same time, though, you got to try to make sure that she knows that there's other things in life besides stuff. You know, like, you want to make sure that she's not, well, spoiled. Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like if I don't get her everything that she wants, then she's just going to hate me and I'm going to go down as the worst mother in history. That's not going to happen. You're such a great person and you're so filled with love. You're going to be a great mom. Don't worry. Thanks, Robert. I really hope you're right. <laughs> oh, that's kind of weird. It sounds like Samantha's crying. <laughs> Hey, Samantha, I'm sorry. It's not exactly what you wanted, but I brought back some ice cream and I wasn't sure what flavor you wanted, so I, I tried to bring uh, all of them. So uh, hopefully you like at least one of them. <laughs> no, oh my gosh, you are like awful. I hate all of these flavors. I mean, the pink ones, like, 
okay, but it's still like not good. I, I can't believe you. And it, what, you like didn't wanna bring me anything else that I asked for? Well, no, I'm sorry, but I, I'm not just gonna run out and buy everything that you want all the time. Then you just don't love me. That is not true, Samantha, come on. Just because I don't buy you things doesn't mean I don't love you, okay? No, it's not okay. You call yourself a mother, you're awful. Look, Samantha, stop, I can't take this. It doesn't mean I don't love you. You're just, you're just having a bad day, all right? Jeez, I cannot believe that I have to live in a place like this where my mom doesn't even have a maid to do the chores for her. And you better not be expecting that I lift a finger and help with any of them because I'm a child. I am not a maid. That's not my title. <sighs> Okay, you know what, Samantha? I have had it up to here with you. What? Matron Madeline said that you were a spoiled brat, but I never, and I mean never, expected my daughter to act like this. I'm your mother now, and I'm gonna do everything I can to make you happy, but you need to learn to not be so spoiled. What did you just call me? You're being spoiled. Now please, go to your room. I, I just... I can't deal with you right now. Uh, fine, whatever. Samantha, Samantha, look, I, I'm so sorry for yelling at you. It, it really wasn't a nice thing to do, but I am just very frustrated because you keep asking for all these expensive things and turning your nose up at everything I'm doing and I just it's a lot I'm just very overwhelmed and I just I don't know what to do <laughs> I'm sorry I don't mean to be this bad wait what are you talking about Samantha you're you're not bad no I, I am I'm like Awful. I was just being a brat because I was afraid that you just wouldn't love me. So I was trying to push you away to keep me from getting hurt. Oh, Samantha, honey, come on. You're my daughter now and I love you very, very much. You know, I just feel bad because I can't show you love through expensive things. I don't have a ton of money, but I love you very, very much. And I, I don't know. We have to find a way to make this work. Yeah, I agree because you're like super, super nice and caring. And I'm so sorry that I was acting that way. It's okay, Samantha. But look, Samantha, I just hope that maybe one day you'll feel safe enough to call me mom because I care for you. And that's all I want is for you to have a good life. And I'll do everything I can to help with that. Thanks, that like really means a lot to me. And you know what? I really do want to call you mom. You're like the nicest human ever. And I've been thinking about it. You can call me Sammy. Like, it's kind of a cute nickname. Oh, really? That would be so sweet. Yeah, but like only if you want to. Of course. Oh, <laughs> things are just going to get better from here. I know it. Madeline, how are you? I'm doing well. How's it going over here? Oh, it's great. Samantha and I are just out grocery shopping. Wait a minute. Samantha, she's helping you with the groceries? Yeah. Well, I'll be. I never in a million years would have thought that she would help anyone with anything. Yeah, like, I really love helping my new mom. She's like super, super kind, and I'm so lucky to have her. Wow. I am shocked. You are behaving so well, Samantha. Clarissa, how did you get her like this? 
Oh, well, you see, Sammy has always been a good child on the inside. She just needed some extra love and confidence. That's all. Well, I'll be. You should be like a, a teacher for moms or something. I, I'm just so happy for the two of you. Samantha, you seem like you are in great spirits. I am. I have the best mother ever. Oh, <laughs> you are too sweet, Sammy. But all right, we got to get to the car before the ice cream melts. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, you two get on out of here and ha have a great one. Hey everybody, I just want to take some time to shout out my favorite comments from the last video. Make sure you watch to the end of every video to see if your comment gets highlighted next. Also, don't forget to use star code SHANEPLAYS. I appreciate all the support. That's it for me today guys, I'll see you next time.